Thanks for watching this video. It focuses on the recent enhancement to the QuickBooks Payments feature within QuickBooks Online. It has to do with the ACH payment when your customer pays you, you know, with banking routing because it's just 50 cents, right? It has no swipe fees or anything like that. It's just 50 cents per payment. And basically when you wanted, how it's always been is that you have to initiate this by creating an invoice and doing some online invoicing, you know, that the customer wouldn't be able to just initiate the payment to you using the banking bank transfer. So that could be problematic because what happens when it's not an accounts receivable scenario, you know, which is probably most of the time with your cash basis clients, right? They're just going to use like a sales receipt. So we know that this has always been the case, right? I could do an invoice and turn the online invoicing in the settings in the gear icon and then select bank transfer. Right? So then they would get an invoice and then be able to pay it with a banking routing number. Now what we did is it, it, it works on a sales receipt, customer payment window, as well as if you're doing a recurring transaction, which is great for like monthly subscriptions. So I have this monthly service here that I'll go ahead and just schedule a new sales receipt just so you can see uh, the change, which is awesome for those that are doing this. You know, I have a sales receipt for some kind of monthly you know, subscription or do or subscription, monthly, really. And then I can choose my customer. And then here, when I choose a payment method of check, I can actually enter the bank info. And this is where I can check the boxes that I have signed authorization for my customer. And, and then you read that over the phone or what have you, or the first time you put in their account number, routing number, and it saves it. So I can just do a sales receipt or set this up for a monthly recurring ACH, monthly recurring ACH payment for my customer. So that's really nice as well. And you can edit the enter the bank info this way, same kind of window pops open and then you check off the box, right? And actually once you enter the bank info, then the box becomes active to check. So that's when you're creating a recurring sales receipt to track like a monthly due or subscription or rent or whatever, monthly payment anyway. The other place you'll do it is customers receive payment, you know, under the quick create. So chat again. And um, I can enter payment method check. And again, I can enter the bank info right here and I have signed authorization from chat. Finally, from Quick Create, let's just go to a sales receipt. So let's say it's not recurring, though I think ideally the scenario is when it's recurring, but let's just, it's not an error solution. Chad like calls me up, he's on the phone. Yes, I'm gonna buy that guitar, cool, just ship it to me. I'm gonna give you the money now. So I could just use a sales receipt instead of an invoice because it's not AR. Why would I want to do that? But heretofore, well, I haven't used that word in a while. That's great. You know, I would have, I would need an invoice just to start the online invoicing and the, this kind of ACH payment process from chat. Now I don't have to do that. I can be on the phone, just do a sales receipt, which will immediately book it and not hit AR because I'm not hitting AR. Just choose check and then, you know, enter bank info and I have the authorization. And you can turn QuickBooks payments on by going to the gear icon account and settings under the your company column payments